coordinator of EuroLeap, the European Children Traveling Language Library. Um, and we are going to have an interview with Anthony Brown, who is the author of two of the books that are contained in the library. I like the idea as long as those aren't strict rules that this is how the teacher has got to teach these books as though there's only one way of looking at each book. I think it's fantastic to encourage adults particularly who often forget these things that how much there is in a picture book. Um, I think uh, as adults we tend to dismiss picture books and I think it's happening more and more. We're just thinking well, that, that's something that babies have and we move on to proper books, books without pictures, as early as possible. Certainly that seems to be happening in Britain. I hear yes. parents say to their children, oh, come on, you want a proper book. Uh, and they mean by oh. that, a book without pictures, yeah. Um, so I think it's great that, uh, that, that you're presenting a, a series of six different books from six different countries and, and, and encouraging uh, whoever's working with the books to, uh, to think about them and, 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 and think about how they can talk about them and how they can encourage children to look at the pictures and see the connections between the pictures and the words, I think that's fantastic. I do. I think the idea of using visual language to learn anything is, is, is very exciting and I think uh, it's one way of keeping children involved. I mean, one of the things, one of the reasons I think why, to go back to books and, and, and our picture books, uh, one of the reasons boys find it difficult to become readers who enjoy reading is because they are pushed and pushed and pushed into, into just words and away from pictures. Not really. You can see it emerge later on when boys become men, how very few of them read books. It's quite a few of them read graphic novels and it's, it seems to me it's almost a, as though it's a cry to go back to the time when they had pictures and words together because I do think that, uh, that, a, that we can take so much more in if there's a visual material. There, there are a series of, uh, of lectures I've noticed on the on the internet from the uh, RSA, where uh, serious uh, interview, serious uh, lectures about, say, education, for instance, and they have somebody called a scriber who's drawing at the same time as the person um, giving the lecture, and uh, the lecture is really quite complex and quite difficult. But whenever I watch them, I can pick them up so much quicker and understand them. And, really feel I get to know what the person is talking about because there are pictures at the same time. So I think there's an awful lot that, uh, we, that, we, that we miss, that we don't value our abilities to look and uh, it's something that you can see in people going to, into a museum or an art gallery for instance and, 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 and just spending 30 seconds looking at a painting and much, much longer, three minutes reading the caption that goes with it. I think that the, the, the pictures are, it's kind of an unknown area. That I, I don't think we've really discovered just how important they are. I think, that, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a real breakthrough once we realise the connection between learning and, and visual material. I think it's really great potential. And that's great, yes. I, I believe that if we could include um, part of the methodology in schools, um, based on, on art, mm. we could reach uh, a great level of, uh, of learning Absolutely. abilities Absolutely. and retaining what we learn. Exactly. Because when we, when we have arts involved, so we have a connection between mind, emotions, and this connection makes the content of the learning uh, remain. Yes. And, and this, is, uh, this is what is uh, about arts, because yeah. they they catch all, all level of, of our being yeah. and, and we have the experience in all levels, not just 
in our mind. Yes, absolutely. It's uh, it's it's a very uh, a powerful tool for for teaching. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. I mean, we, the child learns to to see and, and to look and indeed to draw before they learn to to write, for instance, or, or, or even before they learn to, learn to speak. And that, that, that there's a clue there. I'm sure there is. The fact that the visual world is so important to us when we're children, and as we grow older, we forget about it. We lose it. We, Ask a five-year-old child, can you draw? Of course they'll say yes. Can you make up a story? Of course they'll say yes. Ask them ten years less. Five years later, and most children will say, no, I can't draw, no, I can't make up pictures, no, I can't dance, no, I can't sing. Why? Well, how come we have all that incredible creativity when we're young, particular visual creativity? I'm just amazed when I go into schools and see just how incredibly imaginative and creative and instinctively children communicate through imagery. Even children, even older children actually who think they've forgotten how to draw, um, find that they can. And it's used in the way they're encouraged to in the right way. When they're not told, that doesn't look like a tree, or what sort of dog is that supposed to be? I think we should really, really encourage children and, and, and yeah, just yeah, give them the freedom to, to to develop, uh, to develop visually. I love books, I love the smell of the books, I love the feel of the books and, it, and it, it's something that I've grown up with. Plus, I'm sure in future generations to come who we'll grow up with iPads or the equivalent uh, will start to feel the same about those, I'm sure. It's the, it's, the, it's the feelings and thoughts and intellects and ideas that come through books that really count, not the paper and the ink. For me it's important, the paper and the ink and the, the reproduction of the, of, the, of the pictures, but that will come through. Digitalization to ensure. Yes, yes, actually, for me, for me, it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you. It was, um, they were not easy questions, but they were very good ones. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>